Well, it seems John Ram has gone. We are on the eve of seeing John Ram announce his move to Live Golf. Now, I said this before, right? There is no smoke without fire, but there is a twist here. The extent to which his contract is being met is all a little bit different to what we thought. So in this video, we're going to go through exactly when we're going to expect it, the credible sources who are reporting that we're going to hear it in the next few days, the actual official announcement. Plus, does this mean oh, the floodgates are open? Does this mean we're going to see lots more players go? Now, I know this is a really controversial subject. It's something we've been covering over the last two to three weeks because I can't get it out of my head that John Ram could be going to live golf. I said this before, but I would just love it if you just let me know what you think on this. It is a huge thing for the PGA Tour, this. If there is no framework agreement, one of your biggest assets has just left. Well, not officially, but unofficially, officially left. Okay, so let's go into exactly what we think of this and exactly what the rumors are saying. So the rumors are now slightly different, as I say. It's expected, I mean, I don't know how he's going to survive. He's expected to be paid 300 million over a five-year contract to around about 2028. I'm going to say, how's he going to survive? Because we did hear rumors that he was going to get 600. Plus, he is going to be offered a 25% stake in a Live Golf team. Now, when I first heard about Live Golf, I knew this is the way they're going to take it. It's a little bit like, and correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, the American football model. We're going to have lots of franchises that multinational companies are going to own or very, very wealthy people are going to own, selling their own merchandise, their own golf courses, etc., etc., etc. It's going down that model. And to be a 25% stakeholder in a team, if this is the way golf's going, it is an, well, I don't think we could actually put a price on what that's worth. So 300 million, 25% stake. Do we think that is obscene? Well, obviously, that's a stupid question, Alex. It obviously is obscene. But did we expect John Ram to go for that amount of money? And did we expect John Ram to go at all? Now, we're going to go into this a little further. I mentioned that we had some credible sources. Now, Flushing It Golf on Twitter have been keeping everybody up to date with this, as well as here at Back Nine Films. And they seem to get the inside loop on everything. Now, they put a tweet out earlier today saying this, multiple sources and players have confirmed a John Ram is a done deal to join Live Golf. John has had a standout season this year, winning four times, including the Masters, and he'll be a huge asset to the league on and off the course. This now clears the way for a second wave of players joining Live Golf. With multiple spots opening up, it's expected to be announced next week. Now they quote tweet this saying, John Ram's move to live golf is expected to be announced in the coming days. There will not be an immediate major changes to the format of the league and John will be getting his own team. They have been right on this so far. I have been right on this so far. Everything that we have predicted, apart from the money um, aspect that has come down, I think that was a little bit of Chinese whispers, 600 million. But anyway, 300 million is still an obscene amount of money. Ugh. There's no smoke without fire, as I say. Now, there's not just one source saying this. There's a second source. Off the ball breaking news. Sources have confirmed to off the ball that John Ram is joining the Live Golf Tour. The deal is expected to be announced by the end of the week at the latest. So we are on Tuesday today. I think we're on Tuesday. We're expected that I would say round about Friday, we will have the official statement probably from Live Golf and John Ram's team. And as soon as we get that, I will keep you up to date. But that is how things stand right now. Now, the question is, who is going to go and join next? Are we thinking like the likes of Jason Day coming towards the end of his career? Will Zalatoris come on the back of an injury and didn't play well last week at the Hero World Challenge? Could it be the likes of Scotty Scheffler? Could we see Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth? I know one person that won't be going is Roy McIlroy. But I honestly, I think this is a new wave. We had that first wave of the likes of DJ... Brooks, Phil Mickelson going. This is the next wave. And if a deal has not been struck between Live Golf and PJ Tour, which the rumors are saying the PJ Tour are going down a completely different route in terms of getting finance from the American side, then this is serious competition. This is a huge asset and bad for the PJ Tour. 
Thank you for watching today's breaking news story. This is everything that we know with the John Ram deal between himself and the Live Golf League. As soon as it's official, we will have all the information for you and all the statements. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you up to date with all the breaking news within the golf industry.